Okay guys, it's the 12th of March and um, I'm currently outside the San Lamia Holiday Village for the 2022 European Open Beach Championships first day of the main event. Now uh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, they've got an hour until kickoff and uh, I've heard the guys up and down the caravan parks getting the bits and pieces and heading off to the venues from probably three or four o'clock this morning. I mean, uh, everybody was very excited last night at the main events for the um, Flatty Bash. So we're going to head down to Wivensea now and uh, see a few of the lads and see, uh, see how they're getting on and how they're feeling for the main event. I haven't seen the sea conditions yet, so um, I'm looking forward to see, hopefully seeing it a little bit more calmer. And uh, hopefully you will see a few fish out, those of you that's fishing the event. But um, here's to a good day. Okay guys, so we're at Withensea North Beach at the minute and uh, it's, uh, conditions wise, it's, it's fairly good if I'm honest. It's a bit of a over the head breeze, southerly breeze and the, uh, you've, got, you've got a bit of a chop to the water but I've got a good feeling a lot of cod and bass are going to come out this weekend. I mean, uh, condition wise, very dirty and to be honest, where I'm from, neck of the woods, that, if you're on the Bristol Channel, that, that would be screaming out cod. Now, I know the local lads, they like it a little bit cleaner, but um, I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of fish pulled out today. And uh, right around the campfire, a lot of the locals are saying, because of the conditions, they think a bass will win the event, but you never know. Uh, depending on the weed situation on the southern beaches and stuff, but uh, it could be anyone. So we're down at Nor Wivensea North Beach at the minute. Competitors all spread out along. I think it's one of the venues with easy access, plenty of room for parking, and um, they've certainly took advantage of that because uh, they've got the wind over their heads, and uh, it, it looks fairly nice down there, to be honest. They've probably got an hour and a half to the kickoff, so uh, I bet there's uh, been a few early birds down here. But we're going to take a little trip a bit further down now and uh, see a few of the boys and see how they're getting on. So I happened to be walking along the beach and uh, I come past the tent and I thought, I hear those voices. <laughs> that would be the boys to come up with. <laughs> Team Greg's Team on Greg. it. So boys, you're down on Wyvern Sea and uh, you're given a little bit of local knowledge, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, we have had local yeah, knowledge, yeah. 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 But a guy in the bar. Spoke to a guy last night. Um, he's fished, well he's fishing his spot, he, he had a couple of fish out so we just so we thought right we'll come down and obviously local knowledge yeah. is best so why not? Yeah. You yeah. can see where you're fishing to the left and to the right it's, it's, uh, it shallows off but yeah. you've got like a bit of a deep couple well, of groins he said. in here. He said you? about 60-70 about yards out there's a big gully so he said not to cast too far, no. far. don't go big baits, go you know, yeah, one, yeah, one yeah. worm, one bit worm. of squid. And that's all you need to do. He's had, he's had a few cod doing. the last couple yeah. of weeks as well. So you need, isn't it? You so get a nice six pound cod. It's yeah. nice to hear, isn't it? You know? Yeah, definitely, mate. I think I, I, I think a bass will win it. I've got a good feeling about this spot, though. I don't know why. It's yeah. just it looks you know, classy. Yeah, it does. And you've got the features yeah. with the pickets going out. Does, you know. Yeah. Got to be in it to win it, boys, isn't it? Got to be in it to win it. Yeah, and you are in it, isn't you? And hopefully well, we win it. on the beach this morning? Four o'clock. Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock. We were keen. We were, we were the last ones, you. <laughs> oh, get on. There's a lot of anglers down here when yeah. we got here, mate. Was there? Yeah. It's packed up the other end. Yeah. So, um, here's to a good day. Good luck, lads. We're yeah. going to take a little trip for everyone down. May the best man win. Yeah. Good luck, lads. Good luck. <laughs> Right guys, so we have Mr. Slack, he's joined Team Greg's down here on Wivensea. And uh, how are you feeling this morning, mate? Early Knackered, start? Yeah. I bet you are. You look yeah, for, you've been looking forward morning. to it, though, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You laid off the beer last night to make sure you had a clear net for the day. I mean, I know you're coming up here. It's, it, I know everybody likes to have a beer or two at night time, but it's nice to get into the fishing. Yeah. That's what you're yeah, here for, that's really. That's it. Good job you did come down here early as well, because so I'll tell you what, if we were 10 minutes later, we yeah, wouldn't have got it. Got a spot now. No. no. It seems you, a nice you, spot. You can't get in it now, is it? No. It's Overhead done. breeze. You've got, yeah. Yeah, you've got a couple of nice groins there in between. So. Yeah, um, get on. You see it's deeper here, can't you? You can't, it looks very fishy, doesn't it? Yeah. Very fishy. But if you look over there, you can see it's really shallow, can't you? You want a depth of water, and I think, yeah. you, I think you made a cho good choice here. You had a little bit of local knowledge, as we're going to go over and see one of the locals in a minute. It's, uh, he's helped the lads out. And that's what the comp's about, guys. You, you see when you come up here, a lot of the local guys are always willing to put some of the, the guys what don't know the area too well on the spots and that. Yeah. And got, um, yeah. really nice seeing. That's it. Got lucky, really, didn't you? Yeah, got lucky. Yeah. You're going to go back at the camp, weren't you? I was going to, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Made a last minute decision to come in. Car behind and, and uh, yeah. straight in there. So we'll go over and see matey, but good luck today, mate. 
Cheers, oh, we get one. Cheers, okay, guys, this is Darren from Women's Sea. He's uh, met up with the lads, and you've helped the lads out a little bit, really, because they didn't know where to go. Yeah. So yeah. They were, it's, it's always nice to have a little bit of local knowledge, isn't it? But uh, I can see where you've come down to today. It's a lot deeper than different parts of the beaches. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm. To be honest with you, this week I've been scouting oh, all the right. way from Hornsey up to Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few caught out down this way, isn't there? Yeah, it's yeah, there's been quite a few yeah. coming out. We fished uh, yeah. a bit further up, so we parked at a dead end road and then we went across a grass bank and down the steps. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we fished up there on Monday night just whiting. Yeah. Some nice whiting and we had out, to be fair, but um, I know there's a few cod coming up here, but I, this looks fishy for me. You can look at the sea, where, as a sea, like, sort of, it comes to that groin there, flattens off, and then it sort of, like, just drops, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I went up to Waxon, which is further up, and... Uh, right at the camp? It, yeah, it's, it's flat up there, to be honest with you. And I set the same up at Ompton as well, and then you, there's a few gullies, what? You want that depth, so. really, to pull a fish out of, don't you? Especially yeah. with the groins and stuff, it's, it's perfect features, really. Yeah, exactly, so... What have you been getting out on the lead-up to the weekend, round the year, fish-wise? Uh, been, well, to be honest with you, there has been a few bass coming out, is it? to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, that one more up to Tunstall way. Is it? Uh, yeah, but there's a few cod coming out. Uh, there's been quite a few on. Yeah, yeah, fishing, yeah, 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 yeah. Fishing's good then. So yeah, it's, yeah. There's... It's just um, hope the weather holds off for you guys today because that's the last thing. I don't mind the wind. This is a, you don't want to bring really. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, it's uh, time to get the tent out if it's out. Yeah, yeah. Not, nine. Nine till three, go for it. But I think additions wise, there's a little bit of a lump to it, but it's not too bad compared to what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a bit worse than it's going to lead up. Yeah, well, I come yesterday and it was. Well, was it? Yeah, it was. Settled down a little bit, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's settled down a yeah. lot, to be honest with you, but it still looks good for. I've had cod in worse, to be Love honest you. with you. So, so yeah. It's, Best uh, of luck for the day, mate. Nice to meet good. you. I'm yeah, sure we no hopefully worries. see you back on the awards. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is Paul, who's ventured across from Ireland to take yep. part in the competition. Nice Come here, meet thank you. Again, mate. Good right? one, thanks Andy. How you, how's it looking for this year, you think? Good. Yeah. Uh, a lot of discussion of bass. Uh, yesterday was very good, there was bass and cod caught up in Hornsey. Yeah. So this year is going to be hopefully good news. Good conditions, nice and calm. It's flattened off a lot Lovely. here, isn't it? Very, very Lovely nice today. It's, it's, it's good to see like it. A little bit of a side breeze as you come up around the coastline. Yeah, there, but, yeah, it's, but no, it's good. It's lovely it's and calm. fishable, isn't it? And it's, yeah. You get down here very early in the morning? Uh, I was here this morning at half four. Yeah. Early rays. Up yeah. this morning at three o'clock. Yeah. Then this morning for half four. So yeah, early rays, sat on the beach. Perfect conditions, really. You're looking up, at yeah. it now, and look, it's right where you are. Yeah. And it's, you've got, it's not, it's, it's, got, it's, you've got a bit of depth of water there as well. Good depth. Lucky with, Out towards the groins is very good. Nice, yeah. Good groins. What are you going to go for? Cod, bass. Cod. I want a bass. Yeah. I haven't had a bass. No. I want to get, I want to get a bass today. A lot of the locals are telling me that they think it's going to be a winner this year. The bass. Bass. That's what they're talking about yeah. this morning. Yeah. yeah. That's what everybody's saying. Yeah. So you've got your two bass allowed. So yeah. Yeah. Rig, rig wise, what have you gone for this year? Uh, two hook pulley rig. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Six ounce weight, uh, yeah. squid and mackerel tied, and then I'll tip it off with a wee bit of worm, worm. and that's it. Blacks, fish and black eel? Uh, no, ragworm. Oh, rag, rag, rags, ragworm, yeah. yep, yeah, yeah. yep. That's what we use in Ireland, yeah. 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 So ragworms, yeah. yeah. So there's some of the boys. Yeah, some of the, they don't use it a lot up here, do they? Don't, but no, the, no. Um, one of the guys who I used to fish with a club many years ago, one of the guys there said, I'm taking rag up with me. Right. And they were saying, it won't work, it won't no, work. And no. I tell you what, he was the only person who caught out the lot on the I rag. A, I have a bucket full of rag here, yeah, so I used to use slaps and yellow tails. But this year I changed it to rags just to see, yeah. pick it up a bit. They, they love the blacks up here, don't they? The they black do. Lug. They it's, do. Uh, yeah. Something about it. Well, it seems to work, really. But I we... The yellow teals, you end up with this like, yellow iodine in your fingers. Like, oh, you can't get it out. You can't get it out for days. It's stained. Like, yeah. uh, but it works as well. But no, try the rags today. Yeah. See how it goes and see what we come up with. Just mix it around, really. If yeah. something's not working, try and change Chop it. Chop it and change it, yeah. Situation, yeah. but uh, yeah. it's you're nearly ready to go, mate, aren't you? you have Five got... minutes. Seven yeah. minutes. Yep. I'm bearded up, ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. But uh, there's a fair few people down here. Was it this busy up? There was three or four this morning. Already uh, here? Already here. And then the half, uh, six o'clock this morning, everybody's just come on board and that was it. 
Sunrise this morning, quarter past six. Good to see everybody yeah. keen for the event. I mean, Tell me I think a lot of people were looking forward to it last year when it obviously due to the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's made up for this year because uh, the, the atmosphere back at Salamis is just electric. Yeah. We were down there yesterday yeah. getting the tickets and it was just, let me get started, yeah, yeah, let me get at it. Let's go for it. Yeah. But you have to wait. Best of luck, mate. I'll be Thank down you, the scoreboard and uh, see you back at the wards. Thank you very much. Okay, lads, I uh, just spoke to Darren there and uh, come down and spoke to a few of his, uh, his friends what I'm fishing with. And they were just about to go any moment now. The European Open 2022 Championship is just about to start. So the guys are in the background now getting over their rods. And uh, I think it's all waiting for that one person to step forward. But we're nearly there. Let's have a look on the time here. We are three minutes to go. Century, is it? Okay. Oh, Ben, mate. Oh, fine. So here we have it, guys. About a couple of seconds and they're going to be off. The clock's just about to go. Any moment now. Oh, they're all keen as mustard. I'm looking behind me now. Everybody's on their rods ready to go. Oh, boys. <laughs> keen as mustard. But uh, 8.59. Everyone's waiting. You see, they've got their phones in one hand and they've got their rods in the other. Soon be upon us, soon be upon us. And they're off, and they're off. Okay, we've come from south of Wivensea and come down through Hollyham and uh, we've come to a little mark. It's like a treatment plant in behind me. I'm not exactly sure what the venue's called, but uh, it's on the on the south side of Hollyham. And uh, normally each year this sort of this this area is very busy. I mean there's a lot of room for cars and stuff like that. There's very few anglers on this part of the coastline at the minute. I mean down to the left hand side it's fairly flat. And uh, you can see, like, it, it's not no depth of water all the way out through. You see a couple of anglers trying their luck down there. And right in front of the car park here, you've got a bit more of a depth of water here, as you can see, reading the water conditions. And uh, there's the two lads down there trying to make the most of it as well. They're out in the breeze, really, due to the cliffs. And uh, hopefully they can see a few fish. But we're going to move on further down south now and uh, see how everyone's getting on. Right, folks, so uh, we are taking a little drive now down uh, south of um, Hollyham and uh, going down to Hopton. So uh, we'll hopefully see a few anglers down here. But uh, at the moment, the, the areas where I thought there would seem to be a lot of anglers, it seems not to be a lot of anglers. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking East Newton's going to be quite busy, I, I would say. And I think a lot, of, a lot of people will venture down there to try and take advantage of that one big fish it could it could see a little bit of weed out but um, at the end of the day when you're fishing for one big fish and there seems to be a lot of cars where i thought there would be um you've got to put up the weeds i'm afraid at the end of the day you've got nine till three of fishing and if you want to fish it hard it's a case of what you've got to do and for the chance of that one big fish it's, it's sometimes worth not being comfortable and um and just going for the fishing so let's see what they've had out down here
Well guys, it seems to be a bit busier down here. Now this is one of the venues, if I was fishing the event, I would probably look at coming to. It's, it no, normally throws up a few fish and uh, you can see that there's a few guys would think like-minded with the same as I do. You normally get a little bit of tide down here and uh, it's a bit rolling seas. There's a bit of depth of water, but you can see where the water sort of like comes in and then it breaks on the sandbar. I think a lot of the guys would be trying to put their baits on that side of the sandbar, but um, it, yeah, really good sort of venue. But the access isn't fantastic. I mean, there's it's, you've probably have to walk quite far down to the left. So I was speaking to someone last night just to get act to, uh, access to the beach and then walk back up the way you did to get a spot. But um, it hasn't put people off. There's a few guys fishing it, and uh, we'll get a general view of the of the guys and that down there, and then we'll move further south towards Spurn. Okay guys, we're just on the north side of Easington, so we're just by, we've got the uh, gas station, uh, power station behind us, and uh, gas works, and uh, we've got, as far as I can see right, and as far as I can see left, of anglers, there's cars everywhere parked, and uh, it was for a place that I thought would always be quite busy, and uh, yeah, it seems to be a lot of anglers taking part down here. The conditions are exactly the same as they were a little bit further up. I mean, it's, it, it looks perfect for it. Dirty, I'm sure there'll be a few fish pulled out of here today. Got a guy just about to cast out now. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll look a bit further down south. It'd be nice if we can get down somewhere and actually get talking to a few anglers. But this part of the stretch of the coastline, unfortunately, we're not able to get down to uh, due to access. It's, uh, it's very muddy in parts. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's probably a long walk right and a long walk left just to find out a way down. But a lot of anglers have done it here today, so uh, I'm sure they'll see a few fish for their efforts. Right, folks, so we're down at Kilmsey now, and uh, you're quite open down here, so you've got a lot of breeze, but uh, just been up and down here now, talking to a few of the anglers. They've not seen a lot down here now. I think there's odd fish that's come out, but uh, nothing of any size, so we're gonna, uh, gonna take a few pictures and get a few shots, and then uh, we'll hopefully make, start making our way back up. So yeah, hopefully the rest of the competition now for the guys, and um, obviously coming up now, what time have we got? should be looking at high water-ish now so uh, the back tide as it starts to drop off where they can hopefully see a few fish out. So I'll just come down here with Adam and uh, see how the boys are getting on. They're all fishing in close because of the channel. And they've not had nothing yet. Like Darren's in the back there and they're literally literally lobbing it 30, 40 yards. And I've just said to Adam, don't all do the same thing. You've got to mix up a bit to find a fish. He's capable of putting the bait to the horizon. So he's putting his, changing his reel now and put his ST on. And um, he's, uh, he's got a pulley rig there with a fantastic looking bait. So at the end of the day, it's about trying different things, especially in the event. If the fish aren't in close, you've got to use it, you've got knowledge in that a little bit. He's going to wind one up now. And you can see as the water's calmed down here slightly, as the tide's starting to flood in, you can see where they're starting to break over the sandbar. And I said to him, if you can get one over the top end of that sandbar onto the back end of that, you might pick a fish up. You never know, do you? I've never fished a venue before, but he's going to go for it. The other lads are fishing in, I don't know, 40 yards, 50 yards. It's right nice and tight. Locals saying that's where the fish are, but 
if they're not fish getting fish in the moment, this is definitely worth a go. Uh, it could pay off the buy, you know what I mean? Get one as far onto the back end of that, that, that sandbar as it starts to drop off. You can see where it's like starting to push, the, the sea's flattening off, and as it's hitting the bottom sandbar, it's surging up and then starting to like uh, roll in towards the co coastline. So um, hopefully you can get a nice one out there, and um, hopefully within 10 minutes we'll see a nice fish on. Well, we got the team Greg's up from Wales to come up and do the business and show us a fish. We're trying, so I've gone we're away trying. for around a few hours now, and I thought I'd come back up and he'll have one ready and waiting for us to look at. What's going on, Dad? Wow. Hookless. <laughs> just, just, just bare hooks. He's, fish, he, he's not going to change his ways, nope. and, and nor did his dad when he come up here. He, big baits, big fish, yeah, and big uh, ten of hooks he's got on there, pulley rig, right? <laughs> I think this will change come later yeah. on in the day, but yeah, that's, what you catch the, uh, that's what you use at home. Yeah, that's what we so, use. So, yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. your competition's about that one big fish. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying. Rod and wise, you've got, uh, got the old uh, LT14 Dynamics. Yeah, my father's Lovely old rods. rods. Yeah. Lovely rods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the reels. But like I said, you look at all the fishermen here, to have a fish, you know, it's yeah, oh, you catch but him. you're not you're not here fishing for little fish, mate. You're here oh, for no, one, no, one big yeah, fish. Yeah. And I know you you're fishing tenor works, but yeah. you got a big bait on there, and that fish comes along. Yeah. It's going to hook it. Oh well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm not being funny. The way where you're fishing at the moment, you're not actually, <coughs> you're, you know you've got you're casting short for a reason because yeah. of the gully. Yeah. And if that big bass comes into it and hooks it, it's what you want on. You don't uh, want fing, nothing. Fingers small crossed, on. isn't it? Yeah. Like we so, said, mate. you come all the way up here to a, you know, a, a good bit like years ago when me, the old man, and I used to come up here. God, we cast up once and the boys would go, oh, let's go back to the pub. But yeah, this is yeah. how we're fishing, you yeah, know? Yeah, you're up here fishing. We're up here to fish. Yeah. It's, um, really it's well, amazing. Part of the team, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you'll see. It's amazing to see as many, oh, many brilliant. anglers come to the one stretch of the coastline. I was yeah, just saying on the yeah, camera yeah. a minute ago, because you're talking like 1,200 anglers, yeah. you know what I mean? On the spe space of 30 it's miles. knowledge as well. Everywhere you go, there's anglers. Obviously, you've got the local guy. He's been brilliant um, with you, hasn't he? You know what I mean? over Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's given us some tips and he said he doesn't normally fail you, but. You know, it's it's, it's You're hard. fishing it's as a team, you Adam and, yeah. and your brother. Yeah. And like I said to Adam, if you two are fishing in close, I know the locals are saying casting close, but if he's able to yeah. put a bait Just out there, right distance. out there, because you can see where it, it starts all to pump margins, up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it starts to like push up, it flattens off. There's a sandbar at the back of that. Yeah. If he can hit that back of the well, sandbar, off. Yeah. he's in for a chance of hitting yeah. a fish at different yeah. ranges, like you know what I mean. So. But yeah, this, um, well, we're here, we're trying, that's all we can do. It's all you can do, mate, that's all we can do. We've we got to push up La Coast now and see a few more anglers. Yeah, yeah. Best of luck, see you back at Sandy Hill, that big fish, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay, guys, we've, uh, it's back to Adam now. So, um, you've gone for a different approach. I'm thinking what you've done to the right decision, really, because there's a lot of fish obviously been had yeah, out there's... over the last couple of weeks by locals really close in. Mm. But you, when we're looking at the water now, it does start to pump up up there, and there is a bank back at the there back. There is a bank. It's probably 160 out. yards out. Yeah. But you can get a bait on that. You've got a chance of fishing and catching a fish at different ranges compared to the yeah. other lads who are on here. I've been keeping it inside this Yeah, the, yeah I can understand the reason why, because but... you can see the depth of water, and it, it comes up to high tide. But if they, if they like, if, if uh, Darren or Dean get one out, or you see yeah, one out, back over. you can switch back over. But you've got a lovely bait on there. Those those blacks are lovely. Lovely, aren't they? lovely yeah. and sticky. Yeah. So, um, Actually, those frozen ones are quite nice. Yeah, as well. The ones that are wrapped up individually. Lovely as well, yeah. Have you been using them as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, them, that's them, them there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's about having the right baits, guys. It it's, it's a, plays a big part in it up here. And I know a lot of the locals prefer the blacks. That's what they use throughout it. I know a lot of guys who also use the cart and, um, and razor fish and white and rag. There's another killer bait up here. And you can see why with the coloration of the water. The, see, a couple of local lads say prawn as well. And prawn, yeah. Top if you can get fresh prawn. We were speaking to the guy yesterday. They said actually. they'd rather use prawn than worm. Yeah, a lot of the so, guys, yeah, the guy who I was uh, speaking yesterday, he worked on the uh, boats, and they get loads of uh, loads of prawn, and mm. they bring it in with the clearer water, 
into the tanks and fill yeah. the tanks up. And he said it's an absolutely killer bait, especially for the cod. I've got some frozen there. Have you? So, I might try it. But I will do, yeah. Yeah. Trying different things, isn't it? Different yeah. thing, but the sea's flattening off now a little bit. Or actually, I it think comes it's in nice. as if you set to big waves, isn't well, it? The sun's out completely down at, uh, towards Spurn. But, uh, is it windy down there? Yeah, it's quite windy. It's not as, as uh, sheltered as this, is it? It's right out and it's quite open. Yeah. But um, It's not looking as bad tomorrow now, is it? No, it's, it's not. It's not as wet. No, it's not. Uh, are you drinking tonight? No, no, I'm not drinking a beer tonight. No, <laughs> to be honest, I have a couple of beers with yeah. the lads and everybody else. But uh, apart yeah. from that, it's I'm not tonight. This business is normal, isn't it? You know what yes. I mean? We, we do our bits and that, get the filming and stuff. It's, it's nice to have a couple of points with the guys. And I know a lot of guys come up here to have a drink and um, get themselves in a few states and stuff. But the trouble is, you've got fish, mm. and you're not going to fish. And if it's so the this competition, if you yeah. want a chance to win it yeah. or get on the board, you've got to take it seriously. And that's what a lot of the locals, especially like Chris Fisher, Paul Med, do you know what I mean? When they come over and take part in the events and stuff and that. Obviously, Paul, well, I spoke to him in the week, he was out doing his own work up and down the coastline, looking for features and that work where he knew he could try and maybe pull the winning fish out of. And uh, it, it's worked in past years. You know what I mean, he's, he's, he's won it the, the, one of the days so many years, and I think he's done it once overall, which is fantastic, right? you know what I mean? So it, it goes to show, if you're, if you're fishing at that level and you're competing in an event this big and, I, and producing those sort of um, stats, yeah, yeah. It, it goes to show that homework plays a big part of it. You Massive. Know what I mean? And knowing the water, it's, uh, it's a big thing, especially for a newcomer fishing the event, yeah. is you don't have to be, when you turn up to a new venue, the ground, the low water can show you a hell of a lot to what you'll be fishing over. But when you look out, and even at now, you can see and read the water, watercraft's a big thing with angling. When you can look up to the left, you can see it breaking down really shallowly. And then you come up to these little odd drawings here, and you can see it's just depth for water all the way through. But you can see the bar, I think it's like stretches out long ways because here, it starts to hit off and break and then pump through. So there is a, there is a sandbar out there. Mm. I'm just hoping you can get the other side of it and hopefully put the fish out for it. See how it goes, isn't it? I'll, I'll have a go at it. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, mate, I'll call Dino. Catch you later on, brother. Right, guys, so we've travelled all the way up because rumour has it there's a few fish being caught off this beach, Cowden. So, uh, familiar face with, that, with, with him at the beginning of the week, uh, Craig, and his lad Oliver. So we were uh, going to make our way down over the cliff, but there was one bit where we looked like we can get down, apparently it's a bit soggy. So matey said, suggested we come down this way, it's a walkway straight down, so uh, we're going to give it a go and go and see how these boys are getting on. Yeah, that's it, I wouldn't like that, yeah, if you go, yeah, that's it, mate. What do you have him on? Uh, worm. Worm, nice. <laughs> Lovely, mate. Just to show anyone can do it. Well, this young man has been smashing them out today, haven't you, mate? I've come all the way up from Spurn to see you because I've been told that there's a few fish being called out and you seem to be catching them all. Yeah. You, you let your dad catch a couple as well, though, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? So um, your rod you got, it's a nice little Zircon bass rod. You, I see you were, yesterday, you were like winding them right up. Lovely rod for you, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect for the juniors and that as well, isn't it? Lovely bass light rod, perfect for this type of fishing. So what did you have earlier on then? Uh, bass. You had a bass, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, in size? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ready to take back? Hopefully get on the prize table. Yeah. We need to get you a cod out. You need to see a cod out now, don't you? Yeah. Nice ten pounder or something. Yeah. But you having a nice weekend? Yeah. Yeah. That's keeping you nice and warm. It's quite windy down here, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What's your, how's, your, how's your dad getting on? Good. He's getting on good, is he? Yeah. 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 Is this big fish bigger than yours or? Well, no. You had the bigger fish. Yeah. Yeah. Doing his dad as well, but that's what it's about, guys. Juniors coming and taking part in the event. And uh, it is a cracking weekend for everyone, really, especially your family. You're enjoying it, yeah? yeah? What did you like about the awards last night? Did you go to the awards? I didn't see them. You didn't go see awards? No? Mm. You going tonight? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, doing the quiz? They get some good prizes in the quiz, the quiz and that as well, if you answer all the questions, right? All right. But um, well done, mate. 
Look forward to seeing you at the awards and uh, hopefully pull up a big prize or two. Yeah, yeah good on. All right, so here we have Craig. Some of you remember him from earlier on in the week when we done the uh, warm-up production. Craig's down here today, and uh, what made you come here, mate? Yeah, it's wrong term, basically. We're, uh, we're going to fish here tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, with and see what happens this morning. So we just thought, yeah, we'll get a try yeah. today. And it's paid off for you. And yeah, it's yeah, paid off well. Yeah, a couple of fish out, mate. He's had a five pounder or something down there yeah. as well. So there's a few fish showing along here. Yeah? Little Oliver's been doing all right as well. Yeah, he? he's had a bass. I've had bass cod. Lad next to me's had a cod out. Yeah, it's good to see because so. we're not seeing very many fish down the southern end coming down. Like, we've gone all the way down towards Sparren today. Right. And um, the, the more you get down, the less anglers you are seeing. But uh, like out Newton, they seem to be very popular and that. But from 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 what I hear, Tunstall seems to have thrown fish out, and he has sold his fish out. Yeah, it seems a bit Middle Beach, yeah, I think, definitely. Is. But uh, you got a new rod there. What rod are you using? There? Yeah, I've got a Zulcan XT. Yeah, it's, it's a cracking piece of kit. It, is, it looks very nice as well. Yeah, it puts a good bend in it. I think it's gives advantage today with distance. Is it? Definitely. Very powerful. Yeah, very. Yeah, it looks yeah. a nice rod. Yeah, Very and that's nice how it was on his bass rod as well. That's He's... a perfect size for the little ones as well, the bass yeah, sort of definitely. size, isn't it? It's get them into the sport especially. It's, uh, you always want some with a little bit of backbone in it as well, but... It, yeah, it, more it, than happy. It's punching through wind anyway. Yeah, so it's that's just... what you want, isn't it, mate? But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's... we're going to go hopefully try and get back towards San Lemire and see anybody's got on down there, but... Uh, yeah, it's worth having. I know you're not uncomfortable. You're quite uncomfortable where you are with the wind, but it, it is part and parcel of it, isn't it? Yeah. And if well, you've got it. to do that to get a few fish out, so be it. It's got to be it. And yeah, it's a chance of rain. That's all we want, isn't it? He seems a very little happy man at the minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get him on the be. table tonight. Yeah. Well, best luck, mate. Hope you get a few more. Thank See you, later on the Off the wind tide tens, we'll uh, pick some up. Wait to see a fish on camera and he does it right in front of us, pulls one out. That's a nice yeah. one, mate. Bit bigger than the other one, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Half, Lovely rod, like loads of power ups, like just that tip there, is it? Yeah. Nice, very nice. But uh, I'll right, let him get him in the bucket.
Romance has come all the way down from the Isle of Wight to take advantage of the competition. He had a little knob then, so fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll see, eh? Yeah, hopefully, mate. When we were fishing up here before, you didn't see the bites. It just sort of a slack line. You wouldn't it's get all the. It is. Yeah, isn't it? The trouble is, when he's breaking, you don't know either. No, you don't. Like, it pulls back like that. You think, oh, yeah. Is that? Hold on. Get on. Come on. Be nice, wouldn't it? Hold on, boys. Yeah, we might have one here. <laughs> <laughs> Get on, boy! I'll do anything to get on the team. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Come on! Make it look good anyway. <laughs> He's going left, isn't he? Hopefully. I think. Get in there, boy. Get in there. Come on. That's what we want to see. Okay guys, here we have Nobby from the Isle of Wight come up for the weekend. Is it first time fishing the event, mate? It is, mate. It yeah. is, yeah? Yeah, first time. That's a result mate. then, because it's got there, first isn't it? First fish. Yeah, just walk past there and notice the tip go down. Told you, mate, yeah. do anything to get on the channel. <laughs> How long have <laughs> you been up here for then? Uh, we've got up Thursday, didn't yeah? we? Yeah, enjoying it? For it long shit, mate, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. A few beers and yeah, nights on. It's all about the clutch. Yeah, yeah I've been early to bed, mate. Yeah. yeah. Washing up and all that business. Have you? Yeah, I'm the housewife up here. All right, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah make sure that. they're all fed and drunk and. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Just got to keep them all in I'll check, let you get. Else. I'll let you put me yeah, across and get a bait out. Nice Congratulations, mate. Cheers, Cheers, buddy. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Okay, folks, we're back at the weigh-in now. It's 10 to 3. Very shortly, the doors are going to be open and all the contestants will start running through and uh, weighing, their, <laughs> weighing their fish, trying to get through to the awards room uh, where they can obviously uh, hopefully get a nice cold beer or, uh, or a nice warm drink and uh, getting out the chill where they've been stood in for the last few hours. But uh, it's been a very pleasant day. The sun's been out. There's been a bit of a breeze, but I know there's going to be a few fish had out. I think the biggest we've seen is a cod uh, between the five or five to six pound mark so um, no doubt hopefully there's a few bigger fish to be had out here today and uh, we're going to get inside now and wait for the contestants to come in and uh, move on This is Tommy from Ghoul. You alright mate? Yeah. First time fishing the event, have you fished it before? Uh, uh Look no. at his dad now, first time fishing the event, is it? Has your dad fished it many times before? I think so. Has he? It was it only you what weighed in today? Yeah. Yeah? No one else caught fish, did you got it, didn't you? Yeah. A nice little bass. I've just seen a picture. We'll get him get him to bring your dad to bring him out in and into shot in a minute. Yeah. But uh you enjoy the day? Yeah. Favourite part? You got up early this morning? Yes. How early? Uh, I don't know. No? Five o'clock you were up, were you? What do you, um, how did you find the fishing? My dad drove me there. Did he drive me there? Are you going to tell us where you're fishing or do you want, it's going to be a secret, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Any advice to anybody fishing it for the first time where to catch a fish? Be confident. That's the one, mate. That's a big thing. What we do, we can see if Dad will bring the fish in. But he's got a lovely, lovely bass here. What bait did you have him on, mate? Uh, I had razor fish and yeah, worm. You hold him here, look. So you can hold him up. You had on razor fish. And worm. On, and worm. It's a lovely little one there. You can have him for tea? Yeah. Your tea's going to be better tomorrow. than mine tonight. Oh, you can have him tomorrow night, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be in the awards tonight, so you'll be able to have him after the awards tomorrow night, wouldn't you? Lovely fish, mate. I'll let your dad put him back in the bag. 
then I'll shake your hand and get a dirty hand, and then uh, we'll let you uh, get on to another day. Lovely to meet you, buddy. You take care, mate. I'll see you later on, yeah? Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Right. Okay, this is Ashley. Hello Ashley, is this your first time fishing the event? No. Fished it before? Yeah. Have you weighed in before? Yeah. Ideal. And the yeah. fly bass, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, what time did you get up this morning then? Um, four o'clock. Four o'clock, did you? On the beach at four o'clock. What time did you catch him? Um, not, not long ago. On the back tide, yeah? Oh, it was, yeah. Ideal. What bait did you have him on? Um, Black lug? Yeah. Black lug. Always black lug. Yeah. You've enjoyed fishing this competition? Yes. Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Are you going to go back to the same mark or somewhere different? It's yeah. not giving away too much here. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thanks for sharing your catch and uh, good luck tomorrow. We we'll look forward to seeing you at the awards. Yeah. Right. Alright guys, so we're down here at uh, Wivensea now and we've got about six or seven minutes to kick off. It's, uh, it's a lovely morning, it's got an in, uh, in, inshore breeze and uh, yeah, hopefully the sea looks similar conditions what we had yesterday and uh, it'll be a little, little bit less, less comfortable for the lads and uh, contestants due to obviously the inshore breeze. But uh, I'm sure there'll be a few fish caught today. But we're gonna go and head up towards San Lamir today and spend some time on the beach with some anglers to hopefully try and capture some fish footage. I mean, a lot of the day yesterday, we went up and down the coastline speaking to people and obviously getting some fish caught and stuff. But one of the hardest things to do, or especially when obviously you're doing the coverage for the event, is to fit, gather fishing footage. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up with a few of the lads and uh, hopefully get some fish caught on camera and sh show the, uh, the efforts what goes into uh, hopefully trying to win the event. But uh, next year, I'll be doing to the two days. So basically what I'm going to be doing is one day I'll, I'll be going up and down doing the coverage and the other, uh, the other day I will fish it. So you'll get, the, you'll get the balance of both sort of sides, obviously the general coverage of stuff. And also the, what, uh, we've had a lot of people messaging and that saying, we want to see you fishing it. So that's what will be happening. But 20, 2022 European Open day two, let's see what the day brings. Right then, here we are. My name's Finn Williams. That's Greg's. Today we're on the second day of the EOBC. We're at the back beach of the San Lame Caravan Park. Um, all we're going. Wind's pretty rare. Right yeah. In it, but wind's not helping the, all the waves and all because all like you've got the swells coming out there and the different types of winds coming. From, all of that, all wind coming from everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Lucky, you know, lucky you've got a shelter. Yeah. No, it's like the conditions are brightening up slowly along we go. But it should be a good day if this wind just dies down a tiny bit because you can go that bit of that surf as well. So the flounder and stuff like that, and like all the flatfish will be in the surf looking with that food will be scraping up. 
I've taken a different tactic. I've gone further, further out. So I'm about, probably looking at about 200, 200 yards. yards yeah. Because <laughs> I waded out about 100 yards and cast out, so. But um, I'm going for a, yeah, I'm going to go for a big fish out in the deep water, hopefully. Yeah. And, uh, well, so where are these going, the six and 10 O's? I'm just going on the basic size six, Cox and Ron Mark scratching, a ragworm and two maddies at the bottom. The flounders absolutely love maddies. Back with South Wales, we both from you. Everyone knows down there, Maddie's are the main bait to go for. Yeah. I decided to do it today because you got all the, like, you got some shingle on the beach, you got all different types of features, and the cod also love a bit of Maddie's too. You know, I've gone for black leg and tenor hooks, so like you said, you know me for fishing big and with big baits, big fish, that's all I'll say. Yeah. And, uh, that's, what, that's what I do and that's what I'm known for, the, the big baits, so I'm not changing no tactics and sticking to what I know, so. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Hope we get on now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> May the best man win. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Robinson. So we have the 2022 overall winner. Congratulations. How are you doing, buddy? Thank you very much, yeah. How many Great. times have you fished the event? I've fished the event since it was uh, first started sort of in Bridlington. Is it? Years, oh. years ago, it's yeah. A, it's a big achievement to win the event. It's as well, an unbelievable yeah. achievement. Have you placed before? Have you come up in the... I've placed, yeah, but not, not the top three. sort of high up. No. Um, no. And my wife fished for my wife I've always, done, yeah. yeah. So I've done You've really, done really well this weekend. weekend. Yeah. So yeah. what was your what was your plans, obviously, leading up to the event? Did you get to fish where you wanted to? Um, yeah, we sort of... I scout about and local, oh, yeah. uh, local knowledge helps. Yeah, always helps in that. Um, dig yeah. bait locally. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fresh baits always a key. Effort goes into. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Keeping your worms right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it's the conditions on the on out there as well. Yeah, we sort of. Yeah. The forecast wasn't yeah. brilliant for the weekend, no. but 
it actually turned out oh, right. sort of yeah. better weather than we thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so it was like so what, nicely fishable. So on the first day, what did you catch? Um, we caught, I caught two bass. Yeah. Um, my wife caught two codling. Yeah. Um, we won the pairs event, event for that. which nice is little. amazing. Yeah. Especially with your wife as well. Such yeah. a she, yeah. yeah. It probably means a little bit more than that in a way, but it, it? it does to yeah, me yeah, because wife, yeah. there's so many good anglers who yeah. pair, pair up, up. Yeah. and to win that yeah. with the misses yeah, is yeah, big achievement. incredible. Yeah. So that, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and then um, obviously we're in with a well, finished 20th overall, I think. So you're always in with a shout. Yeah. For the second day. Yeah, of course you are. Um, How were you so, feeling this morning when you looked at the weather conditions? Yeah, well, it was sort of due to blow up yeah, a yeah. bit worse. Yeah. But we got down, fished the same venue again, yeah, yeah. Um, sea looked just as we'd sort of yeah. left it on yeah. the Saturday. Uh, so, Good yeah, we sort going. of thought we could get fish from the off again. And you've done it. Um, yeah, so. just, <laughs> yeah. 17th on the day today, but um, yeah, 20, overall 20th and the 17th just shows you. It does. Like, it's not all about that one day, it's no, a No, everyone talks yeah. about yeah. big, big fish and things yeah. to win it, but it's and it just, and it just pros, that's exactly. Consistency. Exactly. Yeah, just, yeah. Just, yeah. We normally do a Christmas special, so later on in the year, what we normally do is come up on the summertime and hopefully see if we can get together with a fish. Okay. And, um, so you could maybe give a few like newcomers and yeah, a few yeah, 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 It was lovely yeah. to meet you, mate. Congratulations. Yeah. I'll let you, you go and celebrate much. now. Thanks, Excellent. buddy. Thank you.